Hi there and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today's video I'm going to share with you some of the things that Grabby sent to me. Grabby is an online stationery and art supply store. Um, I will pop all their details in the description box down below. Um, and they've recently come out with this new watercolour pa travel palette. So they wanted me to show this to you guys. Um, they also sent me the 36 acrylic paint pen set. These are the medium nib and the 11 miniature brushes set. Um, these are all beautiful items and I'm going to just do a bit of a demonstration with you guys at the end as well. First I will just show you the products and we will get into them. So I'm going to pop things to one side. I do have... Um, the word I'm looking for a discount code I will pop it up on the screen and it will be in the description box below it's not an affiliate link um, I don't get kickback or commission um, for you guys <laughs> purchasing from grab it it just gets you some money off so it's you know really worth using it um, I would suggest you know using a code um, why not? Why pay full price <laughs> if you can get a discount code? Um, so this is the 11 piece brush set. I'm sorry for the noise guys, definitely should have done this beforehand. Um, and these are beautiful. These are really nice range of more um, detailed smaller brushes. Um, these say they are for mixed media. You can use them for acrylic, watercolour, gouache or oil. They're all of rounds and the sizes are a two, um, a one, a four, a three, a triple zero, five zeros, a five, a six, a zero, a seven, and a double zero. And the reason this set kind of piqued my interest um, is because of these more detailed, smaller size brushes. I've got plenty of larger paint brushes and um, liked the idea of some of these smaller ones. So we have the 11 set of those. We then have the 36 set acrylic paint pens um, in a really nice array of colours. Um, we have in here an orange, a bubblegum pink, a light blue. Obviously, you just need to shake them. The paint separates a little bit from storage. Um, kind of a, a quite a nice aqua green. We've got, there with me, let me get that true to colour, a really nice pale warm grey there. That's uh, unusual, that's nice. Um, I'd say a mid-tone to deep blue. A yellow. A hot pink. A dark purple. Uh, kind of a salmon-y colour there. Bear with me. <laughs> Yeah, a salmon. Oh, a lime green. A ready purple. I like that. This beautiful um, kind of grey blue. Really like that. Um, we've got this. Definitely should have done these things before I started. Um, very nice kind of tan brown. Well, like a mink brown, I'd say. A very bright red there. A nice deep mid green, um, a mid blue, a pale orange, another mid blue, um, kind of a more of a sun, a sunburst yellow rather than a bright yellow. Oh, let's see. Oh, a beautiful, kind of a, a very pale. It's almost a pink brown, um, a deep orange, uh, ooh, kind of a purple toned pink, and a deeper purple toned pink, 
a brownie pink, nice mid green there. Uh, I'm inclined to think that might be silver. It will be because that's a gold. Another yellow. Definitely a lime green. That other one must be um, more of a yellow green then. A mid-toned purple. A deep blue. A black. A white. Ooh, a nice dark cool-toned grey and this ready brown um now none of these come with bear with me um either color numbers or names unfortunately so i know there'll be lots of unhappy swatches out there but i just loved the wide range of colors and the reason i was intrigued and i got a medium size is because i hate those plastic nibs you get and they dry out they stop working five minutes in in this medium size you get more of um it's like a a marker nib and you can see these colors are really smooth they go down really quickly i'm going to leave that to one side to dry and then i will show you that was one coat um, and then i will show you what it looks like when we're done so i'm really pleased to have those very excited and then of course we have the new uh, watercolour travel palette that they wanted me to show you guys this is a premium um, palette 12 vibrant colours it's non-toxic couldn't tell you what the ingredients are so I can't say how true that is yeah and the set includes one travel bag a sharpener an eraser a black fine liner pen it's quite nice is this i've already tried it um this beautiful travel brush once you're done squeaking it um really like this it's um a nice point to it quite a pretty little travel item there obviously it keeps it nice and safe in its lid so you can travel with it you do get this little pad of watercolour paper which is fun and you do get a swatch sheet here as well and then you have the watercolour palette itself so we have a fun little tin really versatile very usable your palette's already kind of ready made sat um, you have a little charcoal pencil there and then your 12 colour pans these are all the way full to the top this size so I figure we've got a swatch sheet here we'll use their card and we will see and we will try one of their brushes ignore my dog sneezing in the background um just gonna miss some water over these and um, we'll see we'll see what we've got my dog has arrived <laughs> um and then i've got a fun little project for us to do today as well so um okay now and on your swatch they are labeled so lemon yellow that would be this i assume this goes um the same order as they are in the tin so yep let's turn that around see what we've got These are very pigmented.
I'm such a messy person with a brush. <laughs> Shouldn't be allowed. Of course, you can spend a lot more time on your swatches. Oh, I love that. If they're calling it a pale Payne's grey, it looks like a navy blue to me. Shall we swatch the white? Got blue in my white, hang on. Blue in my white. So what I thought was a black is not. It's actually a very, very deep blue. So we have lemon yellow, cadmium orange, cadmium red, rose, ultramarine, royal purple, cerulean blue, sap green, burnt umber, red copper, Payne's grey and a white. We'll leave those off to the side to dry. And... Uh, going to pull out my project and uh, we'll have a little play and see. So I earlier printed um, these onto some watercolour card. We'll bring you in a bit guys. Ignore my stomach rumbling. <laughs> Um, okay, so let me see now. Let's see what brush sizes we have to play with here. Oh, this one. Uh, brush needed breaking free there. These colours are very rich. I'm just going to uh, just adding a little bit of white to that paint's grey. Uh, I just really like to have a bit of a play with this uh, dragon. Trying to work out, I'm pretty sure that's the petal petal, <laughs> probably. So as I say, I'm using some watercolour card here. Um, I am hoping to make some fun cards out of this, if it turns out okay. Um, and the ink I've used to work with um, is indeed the Versafine Onyx Black. I always stamp with this because you can... Um, use it for watercolour and it will stay still as long as you set it aside to dry for a little while it's a slower drying ink you will smudge it if you uh, mess around straight away so do just set it off to one side 
does he have? Um, I'm again going to lighten this up further. We're going to play with some. Well, that okay so I'm gonna add a little bit of the darker color as well uh, I'm gonna create a little bit of shadow like I said this is not quite where my skills lie In fact, I'm trying to think if I ever work, work with watercolour and the answer may be no. So I can't really attest to you whether these are, you know, better than other brands. I can only really show you how they work and what I think of them. As a complete watercolor newbie. Uh, right, let's see. What do I want? I'm going to do his belly. We're going to do it really pale. You see, I just don't think I'm built for the kind of abstract nature of watercolour. <laughs> Always fun to play with new things though. Let's see. See if we can manage to not make a complete mess of this. There we go. Right, so. What's going on? To 
smooth that blend out. And we'll do a little bit of green. Okay, so... Want a bit of a darker green, bear with me. Let's just go with a little bit of a green. Just gonna add a little bit of yellow to that. Is this? is this his other hand? It seems very high for a hand. Maybe it is. Hmm. I'm going to assume it is, and we're going to make it his other hand. Hope for the best. I'm sure all you um, watercolour experts out there are cringing <laughs> right now, but got to learn somewhere. There we go. Right. Now. <laughs> um, I have one of Grabby's other watercolour palettes um i have this one that they sent to me a while back and this one is fun because it has all metallic colors um which i just threw everywhere so what did i want i want i wanted some metallic This is this is why I need a bigger desk. I keep saying I need a bigger desk because I don't have room to put anything anywhere and I keep throwing my stuff all over the place because it's all kind of propped and um well if you could only see guys it would be freaking you out right now. I um, think I'll go with that one. So, I really, really want to add a little bit of glitter and sparkle to this. Uh, ooh, see, we're sliding. Need to put that somewhere else. Let's pop it there. Um, with these ones, you need, to, you need to pop a bit of water down. Honestly, there's no piece. Right, um, where was I? With these, you want to pop some water on and you want to pop them to one side for a um, few moments to let them soften. Right, so uh, I'm just going to use this creamy gold here. Beautiful, the metallic. I just noticed that ladybug. 
um, and I've got this kind of silvery white, well, more of a white pearlescent actually, um, just for his, I really want to make this pretty little horn. Bit of a bit of shimmer and shine. Maybe do the same. You know, just realised I've got all these tiny little bushes for this specific reason. <laughs> and I'm using the big brush. bit of dark green in here it's a little bit messy but it's kind of the idea with watercolour isn't it uh, okay just cleaning my brush um really feeling the need to colour in that <laughs> ladybug. Again though I prefer darker colour than that red we've got. that dark let's move over and try again too much blue only needed a dot Finish him off. Again, <laughs> cleaning my brush off. Okay, <laughs> let's see, there we go, here's what we've got, I enjoy doing him actually, look how shiny that metallic watercolour is, bit of a soft pastel background, he will make a gorgeous card I reckon. So, I hope this has been useful and interesting to you. I will leave the links for all three of these items in the description box below. The Grabby store link will be in the description box below, along with my discount code if you want some money off your orders with them. Um, as always, guys, have fun. Happy colouring. I hope you're enjoying the channel. I hope you're enjoying the videos. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.